Tongue is an organ located inside the oral cavity. In the center, there is a mass of striated skeletal muscle, which provides movement of the tongue. There are two surfaces of the tongue, the ventral surface and the dorsal surface. The ventral surface is covered by a stratified squamous non-keratinizing epithelium with a thin layer of lamina propria mucosae consisting of loose connective tissue underneath. Lamina propria projects into epithelium with small papillae. On gross examination, ventral portion of the tongue is smooth. There's a layer of loose connective tissue located underneath lamina propria, called submucosa. Submucosa contains anterior lingual gland, but unfortunately you're not able to see it in this slide because the section was not cut in the apex region of the tongue. The tongue's dorsal surface is quite different from its ventral portion. There is a lingual aponeurosis under lamina propria, which is a layer of dense connective tissue that anchors lingual muscles. Lamina propria projects into epithelium and forms high papillae which are visible on its surface. The papillae are covered by stratified squamous epithelium, which is quite thick and undergoes a process of keratinization in the region about some lingual papillae. We distinguish five kinds of papillae – filiform, fungiform, conical, foliate and velate papillae. The most numerous papillae are the filiform papillae. We can find them on the entire dorsal surface of the tongue. They do not contain taste buds. Apart from the primary papillae, there are smaller secondary papillae, which are covered by epithelium, from which groups of cells detach and undergo keratinization. That's why we can see them with our own eyes, as small grey or whitish dots on our tongues. Another type of papillae which we can see are fungiform papillae. There is only one in this section. Its cells do not keratinize. We can sometimes find taste buds on this papilla, but unfortunately not in this slide. We'll move on to the next section, which is a root of a tongue. We can find valate papillae in this region. They form a V-shaped line just next to the terminal sulcus. With diameter 1 to 3 mm, they are the largest papillae of the tongue. Structurally, they are made of lamina propria and squamous non-keratinizing epithelium. The late papillae are the least abundant type of papillae. There's only 6 to 10 of them but they contain over half of all taste buds on the tongue. Ducts from Sarah's von Ebner's glands empty into the groove around these papillae, whose secretion washes away food particles. Thanks to this, taste buds can process new gustatory stimuli. Eponeurosis in this region is discontinuous because of the glands. Apart from serous glands, there are also mucous glands, called Weber's glands. They function in clearing debris from the peritonsillar region. In this video, we have tackled an issue of the complex structure of the human tongue. Like this video and subscribe to this channel to dive into a captivating world of histology and pathology.